everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm going to be doing a couple ornaments that were inspired by some that I saw online on, I believe it was CB2. I will link them in my description box if you want to see what inspired me to make these ornaments. I'm also going to be playing around with a little bit of clay. So if you'd like to see what I made, please keep watching. So for this, all you're going to need is some black spray paint, some puffy paint, and some ornaments that you don't care about covering over, and a little bit of um, ribbon. I'm going to be using this gold. Now these are the ornaments that I saw online, and I couldn't find the picture again of the marbled ones, but I will try and find them and link them in the description box. But I thought this would be fun to try with a little bit of puffy paint, so I used black to begin with only because I couldn't find the white one that I had. And after I made these, I went back and looked at the picture and realized that the lines that go from top to bottom should have been closer, but that's okay. I'm just gonna make it work and kind of do my own thing with it. And then these are gonna be painted over, so I really wasn't concerned with the color of the ornament to begin with. So I'm going to be doing the same thing where I um, use puffy paint and go from top to bottom and then do lines all the way across or not all the way across all the way to the bottom and then I t after the puffy paint dried I took them outside and spray painted them this one I did in black and this one I did in white I originally wanted them to be a matte color, but I didn't have any matte spray paint. So I just went with what I had. And I'm using a little bit of this white chalk paint to um, dab on the puffy paint lines that I already put on there. And I'm gonna make these white, just like the picture. And I'm just using a makeup sponge for this. I thought it would be easier and give me more of the um, the chalky effect that I was looking for. And then I just went all the way around and then did the opposite on the white one with black paint. Now for these next ones, I just took some um, ornaments that I already had and spray painted them in this high gloss white and I filled a container with water and I'm going to be using black copper and gold nail polish the cheaper the better <laughs> and you're going to um, pour some drops into the water I used cool water I'm not sure if it makes a difference but <laughs> It's a really, it's really cool what happens when it hits the water. It just kind of spreads out. And this is what's going to give us the marble effect. And if you want, you can swirl it before you put the bulb in, but I'm just going to wing it and see how it turns out. And you want to kind of turn the bulb as you're like under the water. So you get that cool marbled effect like that. And if you want, you can dip it in a second time if you didn't get all, um, all of it covered. And then you just take a fork or whatever and scrape off the top because you get that film. And you do not want to um, rinse that down your sink because it gets pretty rock hard. So just throw it away in the garbage. And then I'm going to do a second one. And I think this one turned out pretty cool. This one's my favorite, I think. And see those big water droplets on there? You don't want to dab at them with a cloth because I ended up doing that and then it can pull up some of that paint. So just let it dry as is. And just a little tip, I used a, um, you know those um, hangers with the clips on them for pants? I just hung them on there so that they didn't hit each other while they were drying.
For this next one is going to be our clay projects and I'm just going to be using some of these um, leaves from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to pick a couple of different um, colors for these little plates that I'm making. They're for jewelry and stuff. And you can use wax paper and um, a bowl if you want to kind of shape to shape the clay when you're done. And here I just um, rolled up the clay just to warm it up a little bit and flattened it out. And I'm going to be using the back of one of these leaves just to get the leaf imprint. Just like that. And then you're going to bake it. I'm just using this um, old muffin tin. You bake it at 266 for 15 minutes for every quarter inch of clay, I believe. And here, because I couldn't find my Elmer's glue, I'm just going to be using some Gorilla Glue, which is probably overkill for glitter, but you know, you just work with what you have. And I just took a toothpick and um, dipped it in the glue and then just ran it up the little um, seams of the leaf or veins of the leaf, I guess you should, is what it's called. And then after I got the glue where I wanted it, I just added some glitter and then let that dry overnight. And then in the morning, I just took a brush and just wiped off the excess glitter. And I love how that turned out. I think it's so pretty. And this I thought would be perfect by the sink or whatever in the bathroom or the kitchen just to put rings <clears throat> when you're like washing dishes or, you know, working with meat or whatever. And I just think it's so cute. And you can shape it better if you wanted, but I kind of wanted to have it more of like an organic look. For this one, I'm just going for the blue and white. I love those dishes with the different blue and white designs on them. And you're going to kind of do the same thing and just make a, you know, the plate or bowl shape that you want. And I'm taking um, some of the blue and I decided to add another blue in there. And just roll them out like snakes. And here you're just going to take the colors that you chose and wind them around each other. Kind of like that. And then keep doing it a little bit tighter and then fold it in half and do it again. And then just roll away. This is going to be the edge of my plate and I ended up in the end deciding to change it, but I'll show you that shortly. Originally, I just wanted that to be like a border and then I wanted um, lines in the center. I'll show you. But then it just didn't have the look that I was going for. But I thought I would leave this in here in case anybody thought it was interesting. And then on to the next one, I am taking a little bit more of like a glam look to it I guess. I'm using a copper like a beige creamy color white and black and here I'm just making all the um, snake strips and I'm going to roll them together for a marbled look. Same kind of thing as the blue just roll it and then fold it and then roll it again And then I just took it and made it into a ball and there's where you get your marbled look. And then I'm going, I'm going to flatten it out just like the other two. And it looks cool on both sides, but I think I'm gonna go with this side or to face up. And then I'm going to do the same thing and put it in a muffin tin and you can use any bowl or plate, whatever um, will go into the oven. And here I'm just creasing the edges, kind of like you would a pie, I guess. 
And then <laughs> here's the blue and white one I decided to change. And I just rolled the whole thing into one snake and decided to kind of wrap it in a circle and then flatten it out into the plate look or into the plate. And then pushed it into the tin and kind of gave it like a flatter top. And then I thought the marbled one needed a little bit of glitter. So I added that before I put it into the oven. And then here's everything all finished. I, I ended up kind of liking how those um, striped ornaments looked. It didn't look exactly the same as the picture, but I was happy with them. And I really like the marbled ones. I'm going to definitely be playing around with that a little bit more with different colors. So let me know what kind of style you guys do for Christmas. If you're more traditional or what kind of colors you like. Oh, and those are the new Antique Candle Company candles, the Christmas um, winter ones. I will tell you more about those in an upcoming video. I will also have them linked in my description box if you're interested. And here's my little jewelry plate. I, I think that one's my favorite. What one's your favorite? I also like the blue one. I'm not sure. But I guess I could put one in each bathroom and by the kitchen sink. And then there's this one. It was a little, it turned out a little bit darker than I wanted. I was hoping for a little bit paler look, but I still think it, the marble effect looks cool. And there's my little blue and white plate. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate all of you and give this a thumbs up. If you like this, don't forget to share it and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.